Hey guys, this is another video in my graphing calculator tutorial series. This is going to be a short video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a matrix. In a previous video, I went over basic matrix operations and how to find the determinant of a matrix using the TI-84 plus CE. I'll leave the link for that video in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. In order to find the inverse of a matrix, first go to the matrix menu by pressing second, the X to the negative one button that selects uh, the matrix options. And then uh, I'm going to, uh, I have uh, uh, inputs for matrix A, B, and C. So I'm going to choose matrix D and make a new matri uh, matrix. So I'm going to arrow over to the edit menu and then I'm going to press number 4 on the number pad to select matrix D then this comes up and the dimension by default is 1 by 1 and I'm going to change that to a 3 by 3 matrix so when the cursor is blinking on 1 I'm going to press 3 on the number pad and press enter then the cursor is going to be blinking on the second one and I'm going to press 3 on the number pad again and press enter now we have a 3 by uh, 3 matrix and we can just enter values. So after each uh, value, you, need, you should press enter. So I'm going to do 2, enter, negative 3, enter, 1, enter, 2, enter, 0, enter, negative 1, enter, 1, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter. And remember to press enter after your very last entry. So this is what I have. 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 4, and 5. So now we're going to press second mode to quit. Then what we're going to do is press second, x to negative 1 to go back to the matrix uh, menu. While we're under names, uh, this time we're going to select D. So matrix D, so we're just going to press 4 on the number pad. Then we're going to press X to the negative 1. So it looks like this. And then press enter. And the matrix comes out in decimals. If you wanted the matrix to come out in fraction form instead, what you can do is, uh, let's, let's arrow over and select that entry again. So press enter. Uh, press the math button. And the first option is fractions. So just press enter. So the entry looks like this. Matrix D to the negative one, and then fractions. Press enter and we have our matrix in fraction form that's beautiful i hope this video was helpful in future videos we'll cover more features if you haven't already please subscribe check out other videos on my channel especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series also check out the differential equations with linear algebra series and until next time take care guys